Alright folks, here in uh, Manila, over near the Tundo area. Making our way through a little, little bit of traffic here. I'm going to take you over to a nice little market. Do a little shopping. It's a little, little local spot. Just give you a look, look out on the streets of Manila here. <coughs> Do a little little shopping today. See if we can check out this uh, this little local market. See if we can get some bargains. But any anytime you go anywhere in Manila, traffic's a nightmare. So we're just weaving our way over there slowly. Let's look around. traffic not sure if his assistance is really needed but he is uh, he is working not sure who's paying him either the volunteer uh, traffic enforcer gonna help help us out here all right thank you very much sir Thank you. He got us through there, no problem. I'm not sure how he gets paid. All right, now we're back rolling, folks. All right, this place is... Nice little, nice little local trash dump here. In 100 meters. Like I said before in a previous video, come to the Philippines and count trash cans. You're not going to count too many. The problem that the government needs to address is uh, trash collection. And really over here, areas like this, only way to get rid of it is to burn it. So we're over here at the port area. Give you a look around if you think uh, you know if you think you got a hard life just uh, realize there are other folks in the world that's got a harder life than you I assure you I just got a little sorry sorry store right there a couple little restaurants I know we're going a little bit fast by these areas but I just want to kind of give you a look around Thank everybody for joining me. And I'm not sure if I've ever been in this market before. I don't think I have. But we're right here, right here on the water. All right, folks. So here we are walking through. The streets of Manila, over here near the port area, and the beautiful Helen, we're going to let her lead the way, because this format on these videos seemed to work real well. So we're coming through some lap traffic here, and if you don't know how to walk around in Manila, there's some fruit right there. 40 pesos, what, a half a kilo? When you walk around over here, folks, you gotta be careful. You will get your ass run over. So I figured I'd put the beautiful Helen up front and let her lead the way. That way I can keep an eye on her. So 
So we're walking over here to this little mall area. It is a hustle and bustle of activity. And it's called Divisoria Mall. Divisoria Mall is where we're going to. All right, so we're a little bit early. It's not open yet, but just, just to give you a look. What well, is open? Yeah, baby, just head towards the inside. Let's go toward the inside. It's open. Folks, and this is a hustle and bustle of activity here. Hello, my friends. How are you? All right. And we got to come up here to Securite. I'll pause it. All right, folks, we're inside the Divisoria Mall here. Here's a look around. And it is uh, it's crowded, as in most things are here in the Philippines, but that's just the way it is. So we've got, we've got a silver shop over here. And purses. And this young lady right here has got a nice selection of hats. Oh, we even got some trucker hats up there. Hello, how are you? How much are your trucker hats up there? 100 each? You can put stuff on there or no? Up, upstairs on the second floor? Okay, so folks, I may be getting one of these trucker hats for my ladies. Okay, so the second floor, they do embroidery? Yes. Okay. If I do six pieces, they will give you 50 each. If I buy six, you'll give them for a 50 a piece? <laughs> 50 pieces each. So six for, six for 300? Yes. Okay. All right, folks. So she said if I buy six, I get six hats for 300. How much is the embroidery, do you know? Maybe one per liter, five pieces. Okay, so if I go up these stairs, which way do I go, left or right? Here, uh, 2302. 2302? Stall number. 2302. I want to get some of these hats over here. She's going to give me six hats for 300 pesos. But first, I want to go upstairs and I want to see how much the embroidery is, okay? Because I'm going to get you a hat that says, I love King Marcos on there. All right? I'm going to get you another hat, baby. Okay. All right. What's your name, Donna? Lynn. Lynn? That's, that's, that's her name, too. Her name's What's Helen. Name, Lynn. Wow. Same name. Okay, folks. All right. So I'm going to I'm gonna uh, go upstairs and see how much the embroidery is. I got to go up these stairs right here. And then I'm going get, to get me some of these hats. Okay, Lynn. Thank you very much. Let me go check the embroidery and I'll come back, okay? Thank you. <laughs> okay, so my buddy said that he, he thinks that upstairs they sell some hats and it comes with free embroidery. But that was a nice lady, so I don't mind buying from her. She's a nice lady. Jumped in on my YouTube video. All right, now we got umbrellas here for 85. Uh, all right, what's the price on these umbrellas? And my lady already ran away. Got more umbrellas over here. Now these are 90. We got 90 pesos on these here. So less than two bucks on the umbrellas. And if you're wondering about the exchange rate, folks, it's about 50 to one. Well, it's probably about 52, 53, 54. Good idea, though. There's some more hats over here. Ooh, look at them cowboy hats right there. Put one on, baby. Let's see how you look. Wow, look at that beautiful Filipino. Hasser, how much is that hat? It's only 100. This is 100? Put it back on, baby. Let me see you again. Put it on. Put, it, put your hat on. You look beautiful with that cowboy hat. You want it? Really? You want that hat? No. You, you don't like that one? I love that hat. Wow, well, I'm American. <laughs> okay, we think about it. 100 pesos? Okay, all right, we think about it. Okay, baby, keep going. 
Folks, that is a good deal on that hat. That cowboy hat was $2. I can't complain about that at all. Cannot complain about a $2 cowboy hat. I may be buying a couple for my lady. This might be the this might be the hat day. This may be the hat day. Got kids' toys here. Got Christmas coming up. Now, folks, the only thing I'm gonna say when you when you come through here, it's crowded. It's crowded. Exercise patience. And make sure your bag is is uh, secure. Just tight quarters, you know. What we got there, baby? What's this right here? Oh, that is beautiful right there. How much are these? I don't know. I think it's a Fifty thousand. Fifty pesos. Fifty thousand. My goodness. These are fifty pesos. I don't know. Ate. How much? Fifty-five. 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 But what? What is it exactly? I don't know what it is. What's in the glass? I do. Ask like uh, I don't think you know it either. Why don't you ask her? What, what? What's in there? We're trying to figure out what's in it because it looks like a perfect gift. It's in a nice box. So you yeah. can wrap it good for Christmas. But we don't know exactly what the hell it is. It says lavender. Baby's breath. We'll try to figure out from this one of these young ladies about what this is. What? Ah, nice. ah, lights up. Ah, okay, so it lights up, folks. You gotta shake this thing. <laughs> so it's a dollar. What a great gift, though. Because even when the battery goes dead, they can use that, you know? Alright, baby, let's, let's pick some of these out. Let's pick out a few. Folks, I'm going to stop the camera. We're going to pick out a few of these. Okay, folks, we did a little shopping. These are 40 pesos. Basically, every one is less than a dollar. And Helen doesn't know it, but baby, you got to carry the bag, okay? So you have to carry all, carry the bag because I got to do the video. All right? And folks, they got some good bargains in here. So we got, we got some Christmas gifts for her daughters and for, um, I don't know who we just bought for. We just bought a lot of, we just bought a few Christmas gifts for some of the family members. A dollar a piece. Yeah, so. Folks, we didn't, we didn't make it like, we didn't make it like 50 meters into this place. And we've already pulled the trigger on some purchases. Less than a buck a piece. You know, buying Christmas gifts, doing a little Christmas shopping. Um, but again, you, you gotta have patience. It's crowding, getting bumped into. Just make sure, make sure you keep a good eye on your bag. Not insinuating that. Just, just watch your bag because you're just bump, getting bumped into folks. But it, coming to you live from the what's, what's the name of this market? Love Lavisoria Mall. Divisoria Mall. Huh? Divisoria Mall. Not love. Divisoria. Divisoria Mall here in Manila in the Philippines, <laughs> friends. And what a great place to shop. These prices are on time. Put some good little quality stuff. And I'm about to move on over here to the uh, to the Christmas to the Christmas decorations over here. I got Santa Claus over here playing a saxophone. Beautiful ladies everywhere. My God, folks. All you got to do is just look around. So I got Santa. Got Christmas stuff in this shop right here. And it's cool because see now, now I'm not around. Now, now I'm just around normal folks. So people aren't trying to hide their their face like when you hit the uh, when you hit Burgo Street or you hit. Uh, Nana Plaza in Thailand. People here actually want to be on TV. They want to be on, on TV. Now, this is a little fiber optic tree, but we've already bought a tree for the condo, so I'm not in the market for a tree. Helen. 
It's so beautiful, baby. It's so beautiful. Okay, what was our total? I know that. Why you always come to me? I'm sorry. What was our total, baby? You. I'm always beautiful. I know you're always beautiful, but what is the total? What's the total price of this stuff? She's not listening, my friend. Huh? Okay, so this this whole bag of stuff right here, 380 pesos, uh, less than eight bucks, and we're on to the next stop. Thank you very much, beautiful. Thank you very much. All right, so we're on to the next stop. You can fly those things in the house. How much? The little small is 80, and then 100 pesos. The small, the small man is 80. Yeah, and then the big one, 100 pesos. Okay, so 80 for the small jet and 100. Mm -hmm. So two bucks for the big one. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna get one of the small ones here for 80 pesos, less than two bucks. Um, yeah. Huh? Why? Who says? Well, tell the police. Got to tell me that. Tell her to send the police. Now, folks. These coffee mugs right here. Yeah, coffee mugs. These are how much? 150. They're 150? Yeah. And look at this, folks. I got a Hello Kitty. I want These are 150? These are. Wow, that's good quality, too. But I like those over there, too. Mm. All right, we're going to pull the trigger on a Hello Kitty mug, I think. All right, folks. We're buying two, two pink mugs and two red mugs. Give to the ladies. What kind of hotel is that? Good price on these too, and they're good quality. Huh? This for wholesale is ninety pesos. So ninety for four, or I mean. Six. In a buying six. I gotta buy six to get the wholesale price. Ninety. Of ninety each. All right, so let's get six. I'll six the dollar. We'll get six and get the wholesale price. All right, folks. The final verdict is uh, five hundred and forty for six of these high quality mugs right there. Thank you very Thank much, you beautiful. Very much. Thank you. Okay, my friends, on to the next spot. I'm finding some gems in here. And my girl Helen is supposed to be carrying everything. Baby, here, carry this bag too. All right. I told her whatever we buy, she's got to carry because I have to run the camera, my friends. Now we got to go upstairs, baby. Okay? I'm gonna go upstairs. Man, we got some bathing suits here. Ooh, two piece only 150. That's three three bucks on a two piece. Three dollars on a two piece. I gotta get a good price on tea bags though. I gotta get my girl some more tea bags. She loves them tea bags, right, baby? Folks, I want to thank everybody for joining me on this little trip here. I keep messing up the name of this mall. But it's a kick-ass mall. Cheap prices. Good gifts. If you want to do some Christmas shopping, you're in Manila. This is where you need to come, my friends. Okay, so over here, looks like we've got a grab bag of uh, baby. These baby clothes? Little baby clothes, right? Yeah. Let's get a price on. Okay, so these baby clothes are two for 100. So they're, they're basically a dollar a piece. A dollar a piece on these baby clothes right here. That's for the baby, right? Okay, all right. Here we go. Here's the embroidery right here. Baby, right here. Does he have the trucker hats? Yeah, he's got the hats. Hello, my friend. How are you? How much are these hats right here? He's doing the embroidery right here from this old. It's only 150. It's 150? It's on the name. So this is 150, but you can put the name on there for free? Yes, sir. Okay. But only one word. Only one word? Yes. If you want to add another word, yeah. you will pay for it five pesos per letter. Pay five extra pesos per letter? Look at this gentleman right here. Look at it. He's got all these colors over here to choose from. So 
And that black and gold looks real nice. Okay. What color you want, baby? You like this pink yeah. trucker hat right here? Yeah. All right, put it on. Let's see how you look. Oh, my goodness, folks. What do you think about the beautiful Helen of Troy with the pink hat? But on the... With, right here, you're going to put King Marcos. What color? What color thread you want? Uh, red? The black's going to look better on the pink. All right, so she picked out the pink. Let me see if I got one for me. I may have to go back downstairs and buy those hats from that lady. Okay, we'll see here. Wow, this gentleman doing a great job on that hat. Okay, folks, now this gentleman is about to go to work. This gentleman is about to go to work on Helen's hat. And I hope the audio is good, folks. It's noisy as hell on here. I mean, it was noisy on that other market video but it was outdoors we're indoors here it's even more noisy there's even more people well, we're gonna watch this gentleman go to work here on Helen's new hat and all the rest of my ladies out there in the world I know you're gonna get jealous but I'll get you your own hat soon don't worry about it ladies All right, so this, this gentleman over here is done with his work, and then he's gonna tighten it up for us. Man, he's got some great embroidery on his shirt over here. Look at that, just freehanding it. Folks, there is the finished product. Look at the camera, baby. All right. Y'all, got the King Marcos going on, this beautiful lady, my goodness. Poor Helen, got to carry all these bags, folks. Now, who's going to run the camera if I have to carry the bags? So she's got to carry everything. Oh, my goodness, baby. Just the way it's got to be, my friends. It's the way it's got to be. And like I said before, when you come to this place, just prepare to get bumped into. It is crowded as crowded can be. And we're right back here at my friend's shop again. All right, my friends, I got two more hats on order. And what we figured out, I'm going to show you later about the foam and the embroidery. Probably not the best choice, but I got two more hats on order. My homeboy is up on the top floor. Got a table, which he said are very hard to come by. And just like I've talked in my other videos, when you go to Jollibee or you go to Mong and it's all, it is damn near impossible to get a, uh, a table. My buddy said, hey man, come on up. We got a table up here by Jollibee. And my girl, baby, are you tired of carrying the bags? What do you think? Folks, my girl, my girl is tired of carrying the bags, but look, somebody's got to run the camera and somebody's got to carry the bag. All right, so now we're up here at the food court, and here's a look around. Ah, there's Mong and Asal, Chow King, and he said there's somewhere, there's somewhere near a Jollibee. Where's a Jollibee, baby? All right, so you see the crowds, right? Welcome to the Philippines, my friends. Got a look for my friend. Somewhere over there. Okay. All right, we're looking for Jolly Bee. We'll find it here in a minute. There's Jolly Bee over there. Just look for the longest line, and you will find Jolly Bee. All 
Alright folks, we just finished up our shopping trip here. We got this huge bag of shit. And I want you to check this out, what we got here. Check out that hat folks. We got that embroidered, I bought a hat and everything for 200 pesos, which is four bucks. I mean, how can you beat that for four bucks? Baby, model this hat. Put this hat on. We didn't do her hat. Put that one on right there. Put that one on. Put that hat on. There we go. And turn to the side. Oh, yeah. You gotta love that, folks. All right, give me that hat. Trade with me. I want that one. <laughs> folks, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. If, uh, if, you, if you come to this mall, I'm gonna tell you if, if you if you come to this mall, it's busy, it's crowded, and just be prepared to get bumped into. Roll with the punches. There's some great deals here. Go see my friends on the second floor. Get you a hat embroider, four or five bucks. But we gotta go over to the 99 mile nine mall. So we're out of here. Thanks for joining me. All right, folks. I'm gonna try to take you on a ride, and we are 50/50 in this thing. Cause she tried to make me try to make my ass carry it. I'm like, look, I'm the fucking star of this show. And plus, I'm a cameraman. How in the hell am I gonna carry this big bag all by myself? So I told her to get her, get them skinners on it and get to work, go to work. Here's a look around. Alright, and one more time where we're at. Alright, that's it right there. Die by Soria Mall. This is Soria Mall. You can see how hectic it is getting in and out of this place. I don't even know if we're going in the right direction, but we're supposed to go to the 999. Baby, get a pedicab, tell them we're going to the 999 Mall. That's where? Okay. Alright, so apparently we don't we don't need a cab, we just need to walk. So I'm going to take you for this walk. It's starting to rain on me. So I may be concluding this video. Look at these prices here. Fresh broccoli. Fresh apples over here. Tomatoes, oranges. I'm about to get run over by some plates. By some styrofoam plates. Oh. Sorry, excuse us. Hi, sir. Hello, my friend. How are you? Got the wife? All right. Yeah, that's my wife. <laughs> Number two. Okay. Got this beautiful, beautiful fruit over here on both sides of the street. Sweet and juicy from the bow, I guess. Look at that broccoli. That looks delicious, my friends. Whew. Where is my film crew? What is this right here? A little Santa Claus stuff? My friends, I'm going to tell you, if you're not into crowds, you're not going to be into the Philippines, and you're definitely not going to be into shopping over here at Christmas time. You just got to roll with it. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. All right, so we're going in the right direction. The problem is we're carrying this thing sideways, and we need to be carrying it perpendicular. All right, got little purses over there. Damn, we bought too much stuff, my friends. But for less than a dollar, some good quality little gifts in there. Had to do it. It's Christmas time. Buying Christmas gifts for the family, for the relatives. Look at this beautiful, beautiful uh, lettuce from Baguio. That's some Baguio, it says. Oh, 
That lettuce is from Baguio, up in the mountains. Oh. Folks, I can tell you right now, we are not real popular walking through here. Baby girl, stop for a second. Here, I gotta, I gotta film me. You gotta carry that, okay? Can you carry that for a little bit? Just a little bit. <laughs> How are you, my friend? Okay, I carry it. She's got to carry it, folks. You know why? I'm the star of the show. So how am I gonna do this show if I got to carry that big bag? I can't do it. Jump on out there, baby. Come on, you strong lady. <laughs> I'm gonna make a care for about 10 meters, folks, just so I can talk to you guys. I want to thank everybody for joining me. My little one-man travel show. And right now, here I am in the Philippines. Just mixing it up here in this little little shopping area. Crowded as hell because it's Christmas time. And I know some of you think I'm horrible for making her carry that stuff up there, but that's just the way it's got to be. How am I going to get some footage unless she carries it? All right, give me a second. I'm going to rescue her. Hello. 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 Shopping in the Philippines. That's right. It's always more fun in the Philippines. <laughs> All right. All right, a little broccoli. Cauliflower right there. I'm losing this chick in the crowd, folks. I'm losing the girl in the crowd. She's not paying any attention because that shit's heavy. And the only thing she's worried about is getting the point point A to point B. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shit. Like I told you, folks, if you don't get out of the way here, you get run over. This dog eat dog. This is what it's like walking, walking through this crowd. This little tricycle will, will run your ass over to get through. He don't care. All right, you see this terrain here? That's why you need to wear good shoes. You don't need to come through here and flip flops. Get your feet cut in this shit. Oh, look at that. You're gonna need some antibiotics. Put, put some decent shoes on. You get heavy, baby. <laughs> hey, I got half of it and a camera. load up on some fruit but folks this bag's this bag's so damn heavy I don't want to put not even one apple up in here maybe if I see some mangoes maybe if I see some mangoes we'll get some mangoes and again where we're going to we're on the way to the, to the 999 shop. There's a, I see a sign that says 168, but it don't say 199. What you learn, what you learn over here is don't trust the sign. Never trust the sign in the Philippines. That's 698. We're looking for 999. Hey! Alright. 
now it's opening up over here but I'm still not sure I'm still not sure where the heck we're going everybody just kept pointing this way but this is a uh, city place square it ain't nothing about 999 Baby, do you know where you're going? Huh? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. So luckily, we asked somebody because we were not going in the right direction. We got to head this direction. All right, for all my gentlemen out there, I'm carrying the weight now. I'm carrying the weight, I'm carrying the camera, and you guys probably would rather see this view anyhow. Yeah, now she's all happy now. She's all happy. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful. A little tattoo peeking out. Alright folks, so no shit, there is, there is a 999 shopping mall. Alright, so we didn't, we didn't get it wrong, we got it right, there is a 999. This is where my homeboy is at. Okay, some wrapping paper right there. Alright, there's a bicycle taxi. Might get run over by a bicycle taxi if I don't watch it. That is a strong possibility. Folks, I'm trying to get into lap traffic here. I'm not even sure where I'm supposed to be going. Alright, far out of the way. So folks, you come through here. Well, that says 168 Shopping Mall. And then you've got 999 shopping mall. And it's 999 right here. You talk about a crowded, crowded ass area. And that's just the way it is. I told my buddy, I said, hey man. I said, hey bro, here's the deal. I'm not coming up in there carrying this heavy ass bag. I've had enough of the fucking crowds. And I gotta go find a beer. So we asked this dude. He said, hey bro, where's the sorry sorry store at? And he pointed over there, but he said he had no beer. So you gotta back off and go to 7-Eleven. Now you're not supposed to, some people won't, won't let you drink beer at the 7-Eleven, but I'm breaking the rules. I gotta have a fucking beer. I'm hot, I've been carrying all this shit. Filming trying to act like a superstar and it's time I'm hearing Bruce Buffer's ass in the back of my mind saying it's time so I'll show you the route over here the route from the 999 to the 7-eleven boom see there's there's never a 7-eleven not too far away from Southeast Asia Got some food and stuff in here. These little shops. Ooh, got the swarmer shack. All right, baby. Pose one, two, three. Boop, All right, folks, we're gonna pull into 7-Eleven. Grab me a beer. And try to relax and chill out. It's cutie right there. Please let him have some beer. All right, so from my from my perch here at the 7-Eleven, that's the 168 shopping mall at Robinson's Supermarket. Okay, so lo located on the on the ground floor. If you can read that sign over there, let's cross from that Dunkin' Donuts. I'm posted up here. 
like a champion. This is this is fucking critical news. Say it again, baby. What'd you say? Not allowed for beer. No drink for King Marcus. <laughs> There's no beer in there. Yeah. No. Chris, what is what is the Philippines coming to when you can't get a goddamn beer at 7-Eleven? Time to move. Folks, this is a Chinatown walk. Walk. I'll show you the sign right here. Welcome to Chinatown Walk. So I'll take you for a walk right here, but looks like we got Chinese restaurants, Chinese flavor, little Chinese atmosphere. We got pandas. And it looks like if you're in the mood for any kind of Chinese food. Alright, look at that. Look at this chicken over here. Now that is some good looking glazed chicken right there. My goodness, that chicken looks good. Hello, how are you? More Chinese. So, I guess it's true. It's kind of true to the word that this is, uh, this is Chinatown. another Chinese restaurant I'm not gonna bore you with the whole the whole shebang but this apparently is called Lucky Chinatown and I don't know if that's the name of the mall or if that's just this section I'm not that oh uh, Sanguel La Mien La Mien got the uh, kitchen back there Check this out. Got a little little Buddha, the six laughing Buddhas. All right. They represent the upcoming blessings for the year. What that sign says. Everywhere you go, signs will say something a little bit different. Alright, but still another Chinese place. And what we did observe is there's a lot of uh, Chinese folks that are working in these malls around here, owning the businesses. Well, they, they appear to own the business. All right. There's a look around on this side. And you got all the tuk tuks waiting over here. Okay. Right here in Manila, folks, a little slice of China. They got the Pandastic Christmas. All right, we got some activities. And nice little beautiful setting. If you want to bring your Filipina over here to uh, get some good Chinese food. Good little picture taken. That's the Lucky Chinatown Annex. Just a walk through. Oops, Man, I'm feeling good today. All right, now we do have a souvenir shop over here, Phoenix Dragon. Fang Shui store. Got all kind of uh, little statues and stuff in there. Pretty cool. And folks, I feel I feel pretty darn uh, I feel pretty darn lucky today. I only had one person tell me I can't film. Reflection Studio. All right. There's a walk around. Chinatown. What's going on here? I'm not sure exactly what's going on in there, but that's a walk around uh, Chinatown walk right here by the 999 market. All right, my friends, now we're walking out of here. The plan is to get back over here 
and hopefully hopefully get to a side street to where when we call a grab driver he doesn't have to go through that that mess back there now it might be a bad plan but i do see some vehicles exiting over here and we actually have some tricycles on this end we're down by the mcdonald's and so we will see if we can get out of this mess all right so we got tricycles here All right, here's just a look around. This is by the De La Chambre Hotel. All right, so this gentleman's got some pineapples. Probably gonna go hunt. All right, folks. And here you want to see some manila canal with about nine gazillion mosquitoes nine gazillion plastic bottles and it smells like shit that's basically an open shit pit right there whoa watch this guy gotta get a run and go they're like on an aircraft carrier get ready for launch hold on baby i gotta film this all right get ready Get ready to launch. Hit it. You gotta get a good run and go or he's not gonna make it up that damn hill over there. Alright. <laughs> that cool I gotta go get going quickly or he can't make it. Thanks, Folks, it's so loud. I don't know if you can hear anything I've said all day. I'm going to tell you one big difference between Thailand and the Philippines. The Philippines is loud. Loud motorbikes, loud jeepneys. The Philippines is loud. Thailand, not so loud. Hard lift. And again, our strategy it may not be a good strategy, but our strategy is to walk out of this main area because if you call a cab over here, you're going to be waiting in this main area for hours just to get out of the main area. It don't make no sense. Dude, this is going to hit the traffic. The traffic is going this way. Yeah, they're going to the yeah. All right, folks. Sorry about that. They're trying to go to shopping. We're trying to get away from shopping. Hopefully, hopefully we're doing the right thing here. I don't know. I really don't know. Right now, it's just a chore to keep from getting your ass run over. But what I think if we get up to this light, if we get up to this light, then we should get out of the out of this fucking mess and this is an absolute fucking clusterfuck like most of manila is just a goddamn clusterfuck you come to manila you better have a ton of patience a ton of patience the only way you can travel these streets is about 2 a.m. 02 in the morning, that's the only fucking time you can travel the streets of Manila and not pull your goddamn hair out or go half insane. That's just the way it is. Got, some, got a little nut stand over here. I'm not being smart ass. Got uh, fried nuts right there. Look delicious. We're still trying to walk it out of here. This damn, this damn bag is getting so heavy. This dude's got some chicken. I'm about to get run over by this truck. Okay, a little careful. You're basically gonna get bumped. You're gonna get bumped. Okay. 
And it's coming over here. Got some corn over here. Ooh, look at that corn. Looks good. Sometimes it's cool when people try to join in on the video. You get jackasses who just won't go away. Look at that corn. Wow. That's bull corn right there. Folks, it looks like they're... It does look like our strategy is working because the vehicular traffic is getting thinner. So I think we need to make it to that major light up there and then we'll be able to hail a cab. sit here and complain about it but this is a part of the fucking adventure right you ain't never been in no shit like this before or you're basically or you're basically dodging shit for your life you know this 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 chaos don't don't happen in too many places in the western world and so when you come here you gotta embrace the chaos just embrace it embrace it and go with it Love it! Crispy chicken skins, 10 pesos. All right, look at that lemonade. Your taxi right here? I'm trying to heal this taxi, but I All right, good call. We get, we just keep walking just to get out of this congestion because you make better time walking. Good call. Yeah, the farther you can walk in this mess, the better off you are because you're gonna sit here, you're gonna sit here in traffic for, for hours. Hey. All right, we're cutting through. Almost got rained over. We end up in this middle of this park right here. Whew. Maybe 50 50. Go like that. That's better. Folks, so you got the horse and buggies. Listen, I'm gonna warn you about the horse and buggies. Okay. You guys wanna seem friendly? Maybe some of them are, but the uh, horse and buggies is 
it's too many scams. I advise you to stay away from it. Oh my goodness, look what we just came out on, my friends. Hold on, I gotta take a photo. We're here on Penn Street. Hold on, folks, I gotta, I gotta do a quick, hold on, bro, I gotta get a quick narrative up against this and get a, get a photo. Okay, when you, when you go on, when you go on an adventure, in other words, you don't plan shit. You just start walking or you just start going. You end up with beautiful, beautiful scenery like this church back here. I don't know anything about the history. I'll look it up. Never seen it before. Absolutely beautiful. Folks, you never know what life's going to throw at you. I got to take a picture. Beautiful church. All right, my friends, leaving the, leaving the church in the background. What we decided. <laughs> We're 50-50 in this bag right here. <laughs> we keep walking. We're almost we're almost walking ourselves out of this shit. Come on, come on, come on. I ain't worried about this silly ass. We're trying to get across the street without dying. Folks, you get killed over here. You know, if you're not. Another reason not to wear flip-flops. Don't wear flip-flops. Put some goddamn tennis shoes on or some fucking boots. That way, when you're trying to cross the street, you can move. You got flip flops, flops. It's hard to run across the street when a jeepney's barreling down on your ass. What do you think? One block left and we're good? Yeah. Yeah, they I'm sure they can find that. Yeah, but we're still gridlocked, dude. Let's let's do one more block left. Good for that? This one helps you. Let's do one more block left. God damn, a whole lot of fucking fat on that goddamn thing. Holy shit. Two fucking fat bitches. If they'd have hit them goddamn brakes, ain't no way they'd have stopped. You got a cool yard right here. You want to talk to him? All right, folks, we got a volunteer fire brigade here to look around. That building, he's talking about City Plaza right there. Like I said, we walked our way out of the of the mess over there. So we're still going to sit in traffic. This is Manila, folks. It's going to take us two hours to get back across to Makati. But we just shaved off 100, not 100. We shaved off one hour by walking ourselves out of there. We got him? Burgo Street, Makati, my friend. How much? 600. All right, let's do it. All right, we got him for 600. And you want the front seat or the back? All right. Tell him to pop the trunk. Wrestle this big ass bag in there. Thank you very much, brother. Okay, good. All right, baby, you ride in the back. I'll get the front seat where I can video. All right, my friends, we're in a taxi now, trying to get out of this mess. And beautiful church. What's the name of this church right here, my friend? Pinundo Church. Pinundo? Oh, Pinundo Church. It's Pinundo. Chinese. Oh, that's, Pinundo a, church. that's a Chinese church. Mm. Okay. We're here at Juan Luna Street and something. Oh, Luna. Paradis Road. But that's a Chinese church, according to my friend right here. Interesting, beautiful. <sighs> Folks, we made a great call by walking it out. We are already underway. We are already making forward progress. So it is definitely, definitely a good call on our part. I don't know if you can see the waterway there over to this side. It's my friend driving behind the wheel. 
whipping this bitch all the way over to McCauty. All right, folks. Still making our way through the streets of Manila. This little back street right here. Trying to make it through this area to get over to some uh, some more main roads. Just to give you a kind of look at the you know some of the living conditions here. Metro Manila. And it's basically a competition between pedestrians versus bicycles versus it's it's basically a free-for-all. You can see how we're rolling right here. Basically every man, every woman for himself. That's how you navigate this traffic. Pumping it up. Got some little restaurants here on the street. Look, like scrap yard right there. Recycling yard. Nice Christmas lights. Clothes hanging out on the line. Uh -huh. Gentleman right there pushing that bicycle. 